What's up, guys? So a lot of you guys like to ask me, um, what's the difference between a diamond player and a plat player? And uh, basically, it just comes down to game sense. So right here, Cav gives me the, the, the position reveal. So I down the suitcase carrier, and I throw a, a black cam out there to just keep an eye on this guy. And I want to pause it right here. The, the purpose of doing this is just to keep an eye on this guy and see when he decides to go for the suitcase. I will have, obviously, to jump on him. He may have, I think he has an idea that someone's over there, but just the fact that I'm, ho I'm it's threatening the position, I have a threatening position, he can't just willy-nilly do what he wants to do, right? So as long as he stays crawling around, I got eyes on the suitcase also, I, I just got the advantage, I feel like. So, Caviar also helps with the fact that she got the position reveal. The, the position reveal. So, we're very in the advantageous space now. It's a 2v2. It was just a 2v4 a second ago. She downed somebody, or she killed somebody. I downed somebody. So, now we're in a great advantageous space. And so, we're going to... And this is where I feel like... This is what, this is what separates good players from great players. Diamond players... From plat players as you can see this person comes straight in and shoots the first thing that he sees this is what a plat player does this is what gold players do this is what players that are mouse and keyboard do they only think about what they see they don't think about everything else around them so the, their game is just relied upon I see you first I'm gonna shoot you first or I'm just quicker than you and faster than you and better than you. There's no think, there's no thought behind the movement of what, what they're doing, right? So like I said, going back to this, she comes in and shoots the already down person. If she would have took a second and assessed the situation, she would see I clearly have the down person. And plus, why would you go after the down person? Go after the guy that's hiding in the corner over there. You know what I mean? But nevertheless, she decides to go for the down person. That was our ace in the hole. The ace in the hole was the down person. So let's let's listen. And this is why I say this was the bad move, because now he has to jump. See, look, watch what happens. Let me rewind it back. Watch what happens. She shoots him. Boom. He's already getting ready. He's already getting ready. By the time she turns around, he's already lined up on sight. And as you can see, boom. You're done for. You got a flurry of bullets eating you up. So now, this is also what separates uh, 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 diamond players from plat players and gold players, right? I have the can. I'm already good, but I want to point out something. If you can see in that small little corner right above the TV to your left there, there's another camera right there. And I shouldn't have put that there because now I have brain dead teammates giving this man a hard paint. I can't chill no more. Now he's got the drop. Now he just knows. And that's why we lose, you know. That's that's what separates really good players from just okay players. When your teammates don't step up or just don't think along with you, you know, you have to rely on being. So a lot of y'all might point that out and say, but you died, you got shot. Yeah, that's true. I also could have been in a better position, but here's my retort. All of this fell apart because of teammates doing brain dead activity. This was brain dead activity. Brain dead activity, right? So because of the brain dead activity, I have to now compromise what I'm doing and then overcompensate, which that's why we lost this round. And that's why we ended up losing the match. Anyways, I hope y'all have a good day. This is a uh, lesson, and I um, hope you have a good one.